Hey guys. So, I am going to be doing a movie review of Culigula. God, that name tortures me. Uh, I originally planned on doing a, a, re, a reaction, but like with 100 Days of Solemn, Solem, Salem, Solemn, Sodom, Sodom. I would have had to pour so much shit in this movie. There are so many dicks, tits, and vajayjays. I would, it would have been just, you wouldn't have been able to see anything <laughs> except for the more boring parts. So I decided I'm not going to even bother attempting to try to do a reaction to it um, or edit it, my reaction to it. Um, I will probably include some photos, um, as I'm going along just so you can get, um, you know, an idea, um, see what the characters look like, stuff like that. Um, maybe I'll put in a few clips, um, but, once again, um, I'll be reading off notes and just for the synapses, it's gonna be... <laughs> It is going to, to be like, I had to go down and try to remember what exactly happened in this movie. And I had to go cheat. I had to look on Wikipedia to see everything that happened because there's so much shit that happened in this movie. So, um, let's get started. Um, so, um, the movie follows Caligula. Um, he is the heir to the great uncle. The Emperor Tiberius. Here, I'm gonna get close over because I'm at hard time seeing. Um, Caligula goes to see his uncle, who is watching a lot of neck and youths and uh, sex shows with the form at the people, animals. So already, kind of a little fucked up. You kind of see the environment he was raised in. Um, his uncle tries to poison Caligula. And so Caligula um, thinks about killing his uncle, but ultimately Macro, who is like the general of the army, um, kills Tiberius for Caligula. And as you'll see, that was a kind of a mistake on uh, Macro's part. Um, uh, Caligula, <clears throat> he proclaims Dru Drusilla, Drusilla, who is his sister and lover um, as his equal and kind of makes a lot of senators mad. Um, she convinces him to get rid of Macro. I don't know what the fuck Macro is thinking that he Caligula wouldn't stab it in the back, but um, and Caligula and imitate, Im imitate, intimidate. Uh, Gamil Gamilis into turning Macro in because Gamilis was able to, uh, he, he witnessed Macro killing the Emperor and Macro is executed. Um, Caligula wants to marry Jerusalem but she refuses um, because he is her sister. He is uh, she is his sister, and he marries Cassania. Cassania. Um, she's like the priestess to his, you know, religion, um, because she is in a cult for Isis, the Egyptian goddess, which was interesting. <laughs> um, she eventually gives him a son. Um, Caligula rapes a bride and groom, um, and then orders Gam Gamilus' uh, execution. Gamilus is the his uncle's biological son. Um, and his Caligula's wife Cassonia has a girl. Um, Caligula gets a fever, and then Drusilla takes care of him. She gets a fever and then dies. He goes off the deep end, he dresses as a beggar, gets thrown into what's since like prison, and declares himself a god. Um, 
He eventually gets out of prison, if you can't tell. <clears throat> um, he tries to destroy the synodal class by forcing the sinner's wife to become prostitutes. So anybody who wants to have sex with the, the sinner's wife, you know, can. And uh, he tries to... He, he takes away the property of the senators. The old religion is uh, desecrated because he, you know, he is a follower, follower of Isis. The, the Egyptian goddess. Um, just a reminder. <laughs> and the army is forced to do a mock invasion of Britain. Um, Lang Languinus, Languinus um, conspires with uh, Languinus, who's a the new uh, general for the general commander, I don't know what they're freaking called, um, for the army. Um, he conspires with Korea? Korea? God, I'm butchering these names. Um, which I think was a senator um, to assassinate, uh, assassinate Caligula. Caligula is assassinated while practicing an Egyptian play, and Caligula is proclaimed emperor, or not Claudius is proclaimed emperor by the, the guard. His, uh, Cleo's wife and, and children are murdered as well. Um, so, oh man, so much shit happened in that movie. <laughs> um, uh, my thoughts on it? God, there were so many dicks. Especially that last 20 minutes, it was simply turned into a porn movie. Um, but I kind of was kind of thinking about like the, just the broad and uh, thoughts on the movie. It was kind of, was killing you a result of his upbringing because he, he had an uncle who was obviously kind of perverted, you know, because, you know, because at the beginning there was like sex shows with um, deformed people, there was um, uh, little people, um, and kind of blurry, but just a lot of kind of perverted stuff. And um, that was kind of indicative that's kind of what he grew up, um, you know, in, and um, I'm wondering if they kind of, uh, you know, implying that, you know, uh, Tiberius got drunk on power and stuff like that, and that's ultimately what Caligula's fate was going to be. Um, um, and also kind of um, hints at what Caligula's fate's ultimately going to be, because his uncle talks about how he was terrified of, you know, being assassinated by, I think, you know, his uh, family or whatever so that they could take the throne and ultimately what happens and then that again happens to Caligula um, and so I mean yeah it just kind of feels like a movie about a man who got drunk on his own power and um, eventually it bit him in the ass and seems to suffer this fate of most of the Roman emperors is to get fucking assassinated. Um, I guess that's the solution for everything. Um, something, I had another thought. Um, I mean, he was kind of, you're kind of thinking that Caligula was crazy, um, you know, towards the end. And I do think there was a lot of craziness based on just some of the stuff that happened to him, like losing his sister. But also, um, a lot of his actions were more calculated. Um, he saw, like, the senators as a threat, and so he humiliated them. They took everything away from him, or take everything away from them. But then again, you also had to... goes back to... He, would ha he should have known that they would not take this lying, and, you know, they probably would, you know, were going to kill him. But... He kind of went mad and beat himself as a god and all that. So, kind of going back and forth. One thing that, one interesting thing that came out of this movie for me, it actually made me a little bit more interested in learning about Caligula. And there are surprisingly 
not that many books on Caligula. Um, there are a few, and I tried to get it through the library um, to read a little bit more about him. But also, um, Claudius, the one that took power after uh, Caligula was assassinated, it was actually interesting. I went to his Wikipedia page and read some of it, and it was fascinating because he was kind of a... He, most of the movie, he was just, you know, having fun, you know, and, and all of that. But ultimately, he ended up being a pretty good leader, um, and he lived into the 60s, and he helped Rome um, get the back, uh, become more financially stable again after Caligula um, kind of ruined them. Um, he helped build roads and canals. He was more interested in laws, and he uh, issued up to 20 edicts a day, but had to fight for his position to keep his power, so it often resulted in the death of many senators. Um, and this kind of uh, damaged his position with ancient writers, but re uh, recent historians um, kind of have re uh, uh, revised their you know, opinion on him based on, obviously, broad, you know, you know in hindsight that he was, you know, a fairly good re uh, leader. Um, it's thought that he was killed by his own wife, Agrippa, uh, no, Ag Agrippina, Agrippina the Younger. Um, another um, relevant figure in uh, Roman history. Um, and he was preceded by his grand nephew and legally adopted stepson Nero. So some interesting facts, and I was also interested in this, <laughs> in the in this uh, character as well. And so I also was looking for some books to read about him. So it's interesting. Um, it got me a little bit more interested in learning about some of the Roman emperors. So that was an interesting <laughs> outcome of watching this movie. But yeah, like I said, it was. <laughs> A lot of it was uh, just softcore, or not, not even softcore, this was porn, <laughs> but also a mixture of, of, you know, Roman history, so. Um, yeah, um, it had the one surprise, like when it comes to the actors, it had a Malcolm McDowell, and I knew him right away. One surprise was Helen Marin, she was in this, and uh, so I was like, wow. <laughs> Um, I, I did not know that, and um, but she was good. She was playing a bitch, but <laughs> she was still good. <laughs> um, so that was kind of my movie review of Caligula. If you have to actually seen it and you want to give your thoughts down um, in the comments, go ahead. Um, other than that, you guys have a nice night. Stay safe out there. Talk to you later. Bye.